Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If this is your first time here, I am so happy you stopped by and click in today's video. My name is Sel, I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one sweet boy. Here in my channel, I make lots of cleaning motivation, home organization, grocery hauls, and a little bit of mom life. So if you like those contents, I would really love to have you here and join my YouTube family. I upload new video every Friday. Today's video is monthly grocery haul. We are a family of three and we do our grocery shopping once a month from Walmart and Sam's Club. I do go back to the store like once a week to get some fresh produce. I will be showing you what we got and putting them away after as well as refilling my pantry and fridge. Let me know in the comments below if you see something you want to try for your own next grocery shopping trip in this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, give me a shopping cart emoji so I can get familiar with your beautiful faces in the comment box. And of course, thank you so much for coming back again. You are awesome, my friend. So we are going to start with this laundry detergent. This is the extra. I got this from Walmart. My husband and I use this for our clothes. My son is allergic to this, so I don't use this for his clothes. And then we have this big um, pack of paper towels. We always get this from Sam's Club because you get the best deal. And then we have two cases of these 36 cans of Pepsi. We get this from Sam's Club. Here on top of the island, we have lots of good stuff. First, we have these red onions here, and then I pick up these portobello mushrooms. This is the mini size, and I love mushroom, guys. I would eat this on my pizza or even just like sauteed vegetable or even for breakfast. I would like use this with like eggs. It's kind of like an omelet style. I love mushrooms. And then here we have some bananas. I got this from walmart we love bananas here and i've also been just like eating banana and coffee for breakfast when i'm in a hurry so i try to restock it every time and then i have one green cabbage here i'm using this for a recipe and then i have a couple of zucchini here and some carrots i'm going to use the carrots for like beef stew i'm planning to do um crock pot uh, beef stew I also have one little bottle of lemon juice here. I always make sure I have this. I use this when I make fried fish. And then I have a couple of these bell peppers. We got this from, I think it's from Walmart. This is three pieces. We love the red bell peppers. So I picked this up. There's two red and then one yellow. We like the yellow too, but we love the red bell peppers the most. And then I pick up some of these baby potatoes. I'm going to use this for the beef stew and we got this from walmart we don't buy a tons of vegetable at one time i usually go back to smith's that's like five minutes away from my house once a week to get some fresh ones because i don't like to use them once they're sad and they do go bad really fast so we don't buy a lot of them all at the same time and then we have this smoked bacon here we got this from sam's club it's three packs so you save money when you get this from sam's rather than walmart i also have some chicken breast here the first one are like smaller ones and then the bottom one are the big breasts. And then here we have this whole chicken. I usually don't cook my own rotisserie chicken but I saw this recipe on YouTube and I wanted to try to cook my own. Usually I would buy rotisserie chicken because it seems like it takes forever to make it. I would just like if I wanted to cook chicken I would just like cut it up and bake it but I wanted to cook like a whole rotisserie chicken. And then we here we have some ground beef. We always um, stock up with ground beef. We love taco salad or taco burrito in this house so we always make sure we have ground beef i have one cantaloupe here i'm in the mood for this it smells so good and honestly guys when we open this it smells so good it was gone in like a couple days and then we have some cheese danish here i saw this at sam's and i guess i haven't eaten breakfast when we went shopping and it looks so good i always get this from starbucks when i go there and i saw this so i pick it up and then we have these raspberries here this is two raspberries for the price of one at Sam's Club and they are so sweet guys. I never buy strawberries from Sam's. I, I don't know. I just have low expectations from produce there. I don't know why. I feel like when it's bulk, it's like less quality, I guess. But I was so wrong. These strawberries and these raspberries are both from Sam's Club and they are so sweet. I haven't found um, sweet strawberries so I haven't buy them in a while and this one is so good i wanted to come back after a couple days because it was gone so definitely coming back to sam's club and then here we have some bagels my husband picked up the cinnamon flavor and 
I pick up this plain one. Lately, I've been just eating quick breakfast, which is this one. And I would pair it with some whipped cream, which I'll show you guys later. But this one is the cream cheese. This is the whip style. My husband loved this. He likes this because he said it's easier to spread compared to the original cream cheese. And then I pick up this um, Philadelphia whip uh, garlic and herb. This is what I was telling you guys about. This is so good with the bagel or even with like a cinnamon toast because we always have cinnamon toast here. My son loves cinnamon toast. So if you haven't tried this, oh my God, it's so good. I love this garlic and herb cream cheese. Like I said, it's so good. And then here we have a uh, Greek yogurt Chobani. This is my favorite yogurt. This is the strawberry banana. And then I also pick up this Naked Juice. This is the Mighty Mango. I did pick up this Pillsbury Corsent Crust. I am going to use this for uh, Thanksgiving recipe. This is um, going to be for like appetizer. I'm going to make pigs in a blanket because it was a hit last year. So I wanted to make that again. And then we have whipped cream here. My son loves whipped cream on his pancakes. So we always make sure we have this here. And look at this bottle. It's Santa Claus. Isn't it so cute? and we've been going back to the store and getting milk like every week so we pick up four of them because my son like i said um in the last video he's been drinking a lot of milk lately and i guess so am i because i use this for my coffee and i drink my coffee like twice a day hot in the morning and then cold later in the afternoon so we've been using a lot of milk so we grab four gallons of them this is the lactate one and then here we have this ice cream my son loves this. This is three flavors. This is the vanilla fudge, caramel, and chocolate. I'm actually going to put this in the freezer because it's been sitting here for a while and I didn't want it to melt. So I'm just going to put this in the freezer really quick. And then my husband picked up this big bag of corn on the cob. He said he's in the mood for corn. So he got that from Sam's Club. And then here we have this um, cinnamon raisin bread. Like I said, we always have the cinnamon bread here because my son loves that for breakfast for like toast with just butter and some eggs and then i pick up some butter sticks here also this um big container of parmesan cheese we got this from sam's club i can't reach all the way to the back so i'm gonna go around here and show you what we have all the way back here this one is the eggnog milk my husband loved this so he keeps grabbing one every time we go um, shopping because this is only seasonal. So he grabbed uh, one of them. And then I also pick up this half and half. I usually use this for a recipe or for my um, cold coffee. And then here we have this chicken fried rice. We always grab this every time we go to Sam's Club. It's so good. It tastes just like when I make fried rice. So this one is easy. It's three minutes in the microwave and you either have lunch or dinner. Usually I take this to work because it's easier for me to just pop this in the microwave and then eat it for lunch at work. We also pick up this big box of garlic bread from Sam's Club. This is a good deal guys. It's 32 pieces of garlic bread for I think this is only $6 at Sam's Club. We always eat pasta here in this house. My husband loves pasta whether it's Alfredo, Big City or lasagna and we always pair it with garlic bread. And then I get the shredded mozzarella cheese from Sam's Club. It's a good deal guys. It's two pack for the price of one when I get it from Walmart. We'll be using that for pizza or for pasta recipe. And then here we have these mini corn dogs. This is the 40 pieces. We got this from Walmart and my son loves this. Every once in a while I would give this to my son for lunch or for dinner like eight to 10 pieces and he would finish it all. He really likes this one. And if you haven't tried this beer buttered codfish from Sam's Club, oh my god, it's so good. You should try it. You will not regret it. You can eat this with like waffle fries or rice or anything like some side of um, sauteed veggie and it's so good guys. There's a lot of fish in it. Most of the fried fish that I would try, even like fish sticks, there's a lot of breading and this one it's not. It's more fish than breading. I promise you it's so good. I also pick up a couple container of this ricotta cheese. I'm going to use this for big city and lasagna. I wasn't sure yet which one but I would either make it for Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas. But I picked this up because every time I go to the grocery store I always forget. And then we are all out of eggs guys. So we pick up these 60 pieces eggs from Sam's Club. I know it's a lot. Usually I only grab like 2-18 pieces but 
I'm going to use 18 pieces of these for hard-boiled eggs. My son always asks for hard-boiled eggs for school or for breakfast. I don't know. He likes hard-boiled eggs. Also, I'm going to make some of those hard-boiled eggs for like egg salad. And then here we have this breakfast croissant. This is a staple in our house. Also, this breakfast ball. I talk about this a lot in my last grocery haul video. And even show you how I customize this for my breakfast. I put jalapenos and avocado in it and it's so good. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box below so you can check it because it's so yummy. And then my husband picked up this orange chicken. He said he wanted to try it. So I'll let you guys know if it's good. Usually when he like gets something new and try it, I would try it too to see if I like it too. And then we grab it again next time. We grab more of these snacka balls. My son likes to take this for school because he doesn't eat a lot at school. So every once in a while, I would give this to him or sometimes I would make him his own snacka ball because we pretty much have everything that's in this snacka ball at home anyway. But on the times that we are in a hurry, I just give this to him and he likes it. So grab the snacka balls from Sam's Club if you can. It's better deal than Walmart. And then we have this waffle fries here. I love this fries. It's so good. So every time we run out, we always grab this from Sam's Club. And then my husband picked up this Marie Callender's Dutch apple pie. I've tried it, but I'm not really into it. It's too sweet for me. My husband has sweet tooth. He likes a lot of sweets. I don't. I'm more into like spicy and salty. And yeah, that's just a little too sweet for me. It's like a tiny spoon is just like way too much for me. And my husband also picked up this country fried chicken breast. He said he wanted to try it. We've never seen this at Sam's before and he saw it so he grabbed one box of it. I'll let you guys know how it is. We have this Pillsbury steak here. My husband always picks this up every time we go grocery shopping. Usually he gets two but he still have one in the freezer so he only pick up one. And then here we have this Vienna sausage. My son loves this. Sometimes I would give this to him for dinner with mac and cheese on the side or rice. I drain the water because the water is kind of salty so I drain it and then I just give him the sausage. We also have these Ritz crackers here. My son and my husband, they like crackers. So we pick up these Ritz from Sam's Club. And then here we have this Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. My husband loves this. I used to eat this a lot before, but I guess I got tired of it. So I haven't really eaten this in a while. But the raspberry uh, flavor is my favorite. And then here we have this Hormel um, Chili. My husband picked up this six pack of cans from... I think this is from Sam's Club. And then here we have some taco shells for taco day. We always eat taco here at least once a week. We love tacos. So my husband picked that up. Usually I make taco salad. I don't really like the shell or the burrito. I just make taco salad with lots of lettuce. And then I pick up this dark chocolate brownie. I'm going to bake it. And then we have a couple of the snack pack here. This is the vanilla flavor and then the other one is chocolate. My husband likes vanilla and then my son likes chocolate. I don't really eat this but they do. Now let's go back to the front side. We have this sui filet here. I like to um, fry this or sometimes steam it. This is so good guys. I love sui, cod, salmon, tilapia. Those are like my favorite fish. And then I grab a couple of these uh, shrimp. This is the small one and I don't really like to buy the cooked ones. I usually get the raw. I use this for recipe or just to like saute with butter. It's so good. And then we have this jumbo uh, raw shrimp back here and I do plan to use this to fry. We have this frozen salmon here too. Back then I would always get the fresh salmon but it goes bad in like two to three days and sometimes I don't really plan to use it for later and I don't like to freeze it because then I don't know the texture is different after I defrost it again I don't know why but yeah so I just always grab this um, frozen salmon and I don't have any problem defrosting this whatsoever and then here we have this Italian sausage I'm going to use this to mix with the ground beef for the lasagna recipe we have this big piece of beef here I'm going to use this for the Crockpot pot roast, like I said earlier, I'm gonna make that recipe because I've been craving for it lately and it's kind of expensive to buy it and I know how to make it so I'll just make it and it's delicious. And then I grab these thin slices of ribeye from Sam's Club. I've never seen this there before. Usually I get this at Walmart 
it's like two pieces for like 15 to 20 dollars this is 43 dollars for like seven pieces of them so i think it's a good deal so i picked this up and then i do plan to portion this because usually i would cook just like two because my husband don't like ribeye he said he has a lot of fat in them so i usually just cook two for me and my son and then yeah i'm just going to portion this so i don't have to defrost the whole thing when i need it like i said my husband don't like ribeye so he usually would pick up his own kind of meat this is the flank steak i don't really know what that means but he would usually pick up like a piece of meat with like less fat and that's what he eats for like his steak and then we have this uh canned mushrooms here i grabbed six of them i usually use the fresh ones but when i don't have it i like to have this as a backup because like i said i like to use this for like breakfast like an omelette or sauteed uh, veggie i always like to throw mushrooms and then here we have some gravy oh my god i don't know what's going on it was so early but all the gravies are already out of the store so we just pick up what we can because we are going to need this for the thanksgiving so we found like four uh, of the small one and then two of the large one that is all they have on the shelf so we just grab what we can because last year they ran out of gravy so we couldn't get any gravy and i have to make my own gravy and gravy is like a hit and miss to make so i would just like get these jars and it's easy and then here we have coffee syrup and also caramel i grabbed the vanilla um turani coffee syrup for my coffee and also this turani um caramel this is the only caramel um sauce i like for my coffee i don't really like the giver deli i think that's how you say it but i've tried that and it's just a little too like candy flavor for me this one is so good it tastes just like starbucks and then here we have this um queso sauce this is the tostitos my husband pick up chips and he said he's going to dip it with this i also pick up this tostitos um habanero hot sauce or hot salsa i have a viewer from my last grocery haul that recommended me putting salsa on my breakfast bowls and i've tried it guys it's so good and i do like spicy so this is good with the breakfast bowls if you don't like avocado or jalapeno salsas with the breakfast bowls they're yummy and we have some penny uh, pasta here we got this from sam's club this is pack of six i also pick up this vanilla uh, muffin my son loves this i like this too to take for work and then i pick up this ghirardelli um semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips i'm going to use this for the brownie that i'm going to bake I know i said i didn't like the caramel sauce uh, brand of this but the chocolate i do like them and then next to this i pick up some snacks that i'm going to take for work for when i take my break because i don't have a lot of time on my break time so i just like to snack here is the brookside dark chocolate goji and raspberry this is so good guys i also pick up these bark tins this is dark chocolate with almond and sea salt this is a favorite so i'll definitely grab this again next time and then my husband pick up this jolly rancher cinnamon fire and then we grab this pediasher from sam's club for my son this is the vanilla shake he only likes this he doesn't really like the chocolate flavor if you have picky eater kids try giving this to them because these have protein so even if they don't eat a lot they get the protein and also lots of vitamins from this milk i pick up a bag of these mini marshmallows i do plan to set up a hot cocoa bar for this christmas and also winter so i'm going to use this we have lots of nuts here i've been trying to eat less chips and more nuts lately so i pick up these roasted almonds this one is the lightly salted and it's from sam's club i also grab this pistachio this is the roasted and salted this is probably my favorite nuts ever and this has no shell i grab this from sam's club and it's so good this is the tostitos that i'm telling you guys about my husband pick up these chips and is going to use the queso sauce for this i also pick up this cashew this is the halves pieces and it has sea salt my husband like finished half of this um container last time so i pick up another one i ate the other half of it so that's okay i like to mix all my nuts together and add raisins to them so that's a quick snack for work 
and even just when I'm home and like trying to eat less chips I would like snack on these nuts I mix them together in my Ziploc bag the reusable one and yeah they're so good and then we got a box of Swiss roll like I told you guys my husband have sweet tooth so we grab this Swiss roll and also we grab Twinkies in the back and also the Nutty Buddy. I pick up this palm from Sam's Club. I think it's a better deal than buying them individually at Walmart. And then this is something new that we've never seen at Sam's Club before. This is the bacon wrap beef tenderloin. My husband uh, cook them and I tried one of them and I do like it. It's so good. Probably grabbing this again next time. It's a little pricey for like 14 pieces a box. I think it might be like 6 or $7 but it was good. So it's a little bit of appetizer and yeah I think we'll grab this again next time. And then I've never get to try this bacon wrap shrimp. He ate it all and then he was complaining after but then he ate it all anyway. So I never got to try this. Probably grabbing one just to try. So I know I like the beef tenderloin one but this one is the shrimp and yeah he was complaining that it was rubbery but then he ate it all. And then we have some Starbucks bottle here. We have the smoke of Rappuccino and then also the vanilla. We got this from Walmart. And then I pick up this Rotortilla. I saw this from a fellow YouTuber and I thought it was interesting. Usually I would just buy the ready to go one but I wanted to try this one and cook my own tortilla. See if it's any better than the ready to go one. So that's why I picked that up. And then here we have cup noodles. This is a case and this is the beef flavor. For non-food item, I pick up this glass Tupperware at Sam's Club for $24. It says 24 pieces set but that includes the lid. So technically you get 12 Tupperware but still that's a good deal for $25 guys. So I snatched this as soon as I saw it because I've never seen this before or maybe I wasn't looking in that area. But yeah, I picked this up because I have been wanting to switch my plastic Tupperware to glass because the plastic ones, some of them have stained and then some of them burned from the dishwasher even though it says it's safe to put it in the dishwasher. So I'm so glad I got this. Definitely getting rid of the plastic ones. I also pick up Zyrtec. I am allergic to my dog so I take Zyrtec every day and... This is a good deal at Sam's Club if you do take allergy pill. I also pick up a gallon of this vinegar. I always use this for cleaning, for laundry, anywhere around the house, DIY cleaner. And then we pick up these Irish Spring Bar Soaps. My husband used this. And then I also pick up this Neutrogena Moisturizer and the Serum. This is what I use for my face moisturizer because I do have very dry skin. And that is pretty much what we got for this monthly grocery haul. I have to cut a big portion of restocking and organizing clip of the pantry and fridge because it took me a while to get it done so the video is way too long. But I will be doing a separate video for that and showing you in depth of how I organize everything. I did pick up some new canister for the pantry which I will show you in my fridge and pantry organization video. So be on the lookout for that in my channel if those are the contents you like and enjoy watching. It is definitely coming soon so make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bell on so you will not miss that video. As I showed you my fridge is pretty empty so I'm gonna go restock this and put away all the grocery.
this is what's for dinner tonight steak and side of salted vegetables this is so yummy guys and here's the glass tupperware i just wanted to show this to you guys all before i wash and dry them out of the box the glass is so thick and it seemed very sturdy and high quality so i really like this ones this is everything that it comes in the box as you see it looks like a pretty good amount of sets so like i said i'm going to get rid of all the plastic containers probably doing a decluttering video soon so be on the lookout for that in my channel if you like organizing decluttering and cleaning motivations i put the fruits in the fridge earlier but i decided later that day that i'm just gonna prep this really quick so it's ready to go and it's more likely for us to eat this fast also i wanted to bring some for work the next day so this is when I found out that the cantaloupe is super sweet. We got this from Walmart and the strawberries we got from Sam's Club. They are both super sweet guys and it's so good. We finished them in like three days and I'll definitely coming back for more. So I hope you find this video helpful and gave you some ideas on what to try next for your own grocery shopping trip as well as some tips in organizing your fridge and pantry. If you like and enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up as it helps me a lot and let me know what contents you like the most in my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, it's totally free and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any more of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm so glad to get to spend time with you and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Bye!